All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 51. All right. So we're going to try adding a couple of entries to the breakfast category. All right. So we've got the breakfast category up right now. When we click add entry and do it again, we see it starts at zero. So we may notice some bugs. That's what they're talking about. Uh, basically, right now, when we click that add entry, it's doing this right here, that event listener. We did the, in the last one, I think. Hold on. Was that the last one? Uh, yeah, when we did the event listener in the last one, right? So that's what's happening when we do this uh, on click right here. Uh, but the first thing we need to fix is the entry counts. The first entry should have a count of one and not zero. You see this one has, it's a uh, zero and not one, right? So this bug occurs because we are querying for uh, input equals type, pardon me, input type equals text elements before adding the new entry to the page, right? So right now, let's go over to the index.html. Uh, we see before we do this, let's let's reset this thing before we do this. Uh, before, whoa, 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 whoa. Before we uh, click the button, it's, you see right here, there is no input and there's no text inside, there's no text uh, uh, type inside of the input either when we look here. So that's why it says zero over here. So now let's go back over here to the script.js. Uh, so to fix this, we're gonna update our entry number variable to be the value of the length of the query plus one. Uh, and then we're gonna add this to our declaration line, not to our template strings. Okay, so we're just pretty much gonna add it right here. So let's uh, add the entry real quick, and then let's do a plus one right here. Actually, instead of that, let's uh, let's call it down here so that it'll stay up on our screen. So let's do a uh, add entry call like this. All right, we see it's right here. And then we'll say after this dot length, you know, this thing dot length will do plus one. All right, and you see it does this right here. It has a one here instead of the zero because right now this, um, what is it? This, this array is, has nothing in it, and so the length is zero, right? So when we add one to it, it's gonna do this right here. So that's basically what they're telling us to do. So let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 52, and we'll see you next time.